and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. We're going to talk about someone today we haven't talked about in in a little while, a couple of weeks now, and that is everyone's favourite person, LJ Montello. And I was tagged in something yesterday, and to be honest with you, it kind of blew my mind a little bit because we've all seen that there's been a podcast where Renfamous, Montello, Masgill, all these people went on and they were literally on there like, well, we need to start going more fierce and more uh, vicious towards the conventions who are actually hiring VM and everything else. And they were like, we need to stop them from going. We can't have to do this. We have to do that. And a lot of people are like, wow, okay, you've, uh, you've turned into quite something else here. I actually mentioned this the other day in my supervillains video where they're all like a bunch of supervillains, you know. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. And what I'm about to show you is actually quite hysterical because they want to go and protest outside certain headquarters. So we're going to have a look at it. So this is where she comes in first. Actually, at Funimation, at Sony Pictures, and Toei Animation would possibly want to have a chat with Mr. Mignogna, with him continuing to use their assets to promote himself after suing Sony Funny. And with that there, it's kind of funny because they don't seem to realize that they're not going to stop him from using them because they still sell things with his actual credits still on them. And what they're trying to say here, you know, they're going on by him continuing to use assets to promote himself. Which is when they go to conventions, they have the big banners behind them, and they have posters, and it's whatever characters that they voiced normally on them. And they think that doing this is going to help them, because it's not. 100% it's not. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell, I'll tell you a little story. I know someone who's very close to me, and... They do a lot of animation and they do a lot of uh, actual comic work, or they did, I should say, for DC Comics and also for Marvel. And he had a falling out with Marvel. And so there's a, you know, there's a bit of bad blood between them because of certain people involved. But he still uses those characters he drew on the board behind him. Because they're allowed to, because that's their work. Even though it's technically work for hire, because it's their characters, it's not his, but he can still use them. And they're not going to do anything about it. And when you see Montello and all these other ones, like, oh, we can do this, let's do this. They are literally trying to organise now mass hysteria over this situation. It's almost like, even though they keep going on saying that oh, they've won the court case, they've done this, they've done that, because... They went 17 and 0, but all of a sudden these appeals went in. Then they started, started clenching their bum cheeks a little bit. Then, when the documents came out that Lemoir was denied certain things, they were all like, "Oh!" They started panicking, and now all of a sudden, it's almost like they've gone from here to here with what they want to do in trying to get rid of him, and. That just shows the agenda because, again, if these people are so, so much obsessed with what he did and they actually believe everything that's happened, they should really go to the police. Because the way they're doing this now, it's 100% gone above the actual court case for what they're doing. They're literally going to try and harass and boycott all these chains and everything else, these studios, because they're local to them in Southern California, by the way, which we're going to look at in a minute. Actually, no, we'll get into that first. So, she done that one, then she put another one. By the way, Mars Girl, Tony Goldmark, and Richard and Rich and Creamy tagging you guys since this one is local for us. And then someone gone to him. Rent a U-Haul truck, stick a big sign on the side, and park it across the street. That's not going to do anything, because they'll just ring the police, or whatever, and tell them to come and move the van. That's what they'll do, and then these guys will get done for it. Because they seem to not understand what they're doing. The way they're acting, the way that they say they're adults, they're acting more like kids than anything else going. They're acting more like children than they were last year. And to be honest with you, we all thought they couldn't stoop so much as low as what they did. But they have. You even got people here saying, isn't that a bit harsh? 
she does have a point. Attacking a business isn't going to help them in the long run either. So it's not going to work because if they attack these businesses or harass them, do you really think that even though Montello Mars and all these people are supposedly in the business, do you really think that Funimation and all them are going to hire these people? Or if, they, if they're if they sponsoring something and they see a day there, they're like, no, we don't want them. They haven't thought everything through. They really do think that this is going to help them. It's not. You know, these people, they've known for over a decade that he's been doing all of this. But it never went to the police. Which is worse than anything else because they've literally allowed these sort of inhumane acts to allow to happen, you know? And when they say, oh, well, I did and they did nothing. Yeah, I don't believe that. The police would do something. The police would. But even though they're trying to go so hard after a year now, I really do think if they, if they actually believe everything that's happened, you know, that everything they've been told about him, they should really go to the police more than anything else. Instead of boycotting this or boycotting that or saying on Twitter, oh, you need to do this, going on a podcast as well, that's not going to help. You need to go to the police if you believe everything that has happened, even if it's not you. If this guy is so dangerous and he's out there in the real world, go and tell the police because he's a danger to everyone. Go and tell the police, please. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.